what's going on in Windsor real estate market during the mid of this COVID, especially in May 2020. So in this video, I'm going to share those details. Namaskar, Adabar, Se, Vanakam, what's up everyone? Hope you guys staying home and safe. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for an awesome content regarding real estate and my personal journey as a realtor, investor and also many other topics like Windsor, real estate in general. And if you have been following me, if you like my content, you, can, you know what I'm gonna ask you. Hit that thumbs up button because if you don't do that, YouTube doesn't like me. If you, YouTube doesn't like me, I don't like to put more content. So do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button and leave the comments below. May month market stats has surprised me. You will know shortly why. So the number of new properties, that means number of new listings came onto the market in 2020 or 652. Again, guys, I'm talking purely residential uh, listings in Windsor, Ontario. So, um, whereas in 2019, there were 1,038, which means there is a drop of 36.7%. So, um, but definitely we recovered compared to April month. If you haven't watched April month market updates, I'll have a link there. There, it was um, more than 50% drop in April. So now we recovered a little bit. Now we are at 36.71. And the number of sales, that means number of properties sold in May month are 409. Whereas in 2019, it's 670, which means there is still a significant drop, 38.96% drop. If you watched my April month, you would know. It's more than 52% drop in April. So that means we recovered 12%, not too bad. Um, but definitely there is that shows me that there is um, a fear in people going and seeing the properties there is a lot of fear in listing the property because you don't know um, if someone unknown coming in whether they have the covid or not because even though we do all these covid forms we ask everyone hey do you have the uh, covid symptoms before showing before listing uh, but still yeah, again that's the fear right and this is where the big surprise for me, this average sale price, watch for it. 2020 average sales price in Windsor is 38, th sorry, 300 and, my bad, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm excited a little bit. Uh, 384,311 dollars, 384,311 dollars, whereas in 2019, it's 336,000, dollars which means there is an increase. You heard it right. There is an increase in the price, average price of 14.37%. We are in the green. If you watched the April month video, it was like almost the same. That means this month, May alone, the price has bumped up. What does that tell me? That means the number of buyers has increased. So again, I'm going to take a few seconds to say, share why I feel that, like why uh, this thing is happening, because it's all about demand and supply, guys, um, especially any any product. If there is high demand, the, the um, price will go up. If there is low demand, the price will go down. So I'm thinking I, I think this, this is just my thought process based on what I'm reading. So because of this COVID, a big shift is happening, which is a lot of companies are realizing that their employees no longer need to work in the physical office. I think that's why now, you know, um, the commercial market, it so badly. Now they don't, the offices will come vacant and most of the companies try to lower their head cost by having these big offices and everything and now they allow people to work from home even going forward in future so what that ha makes is now people who are living in bigger cities because 
in bigger like those are the people who are actually driving the prices up in smaller cities like Windsor especially cities like Windsor which has beautiful first of all beautiful city second of all beautiful weather and third of all have all the major city uh, amenities from the Detroit area because it's just two kilometers from Windsor and everything in Windsor you can drive in 15 minutes and still get paid from the bigger town's employer because they can work from home. So their cost of living goes down and they're, you know, they're, they can spend more time with their family. So again, that's my, that's my just, uh, um, that's what I feel. Again, I want to know your, your thoughts because, you know, this is something really interesting to see where there's a 14% increase in the prices compared to 2019 even during this mid of COVID-19 you know when people so many people lost their jobs so that's interesting to see I think again that's what I feel but I love to hear from you guys so let me know in the comments below another than another thing I know many people trying to reach out to me um, I'm sorry if I haven't got back to you but I'm, I'm working on my systems to help you guys um, more efficiently so what I have done is especially if you're looking to buy or sell in Windsor I'm gonna leave a form in the description so fill out that form very small form where you're, you you input your details and um, what are you looking for um, me or my team will reach out to you within 24 to 48 hours so we can help you in a better way because i know for sure um we love to help you in any way we can so make sure you fill that form with that i'm going to sign off and have a wonderful day guys